It's taking a bit long below it, but we're going to get started. We're in there. Flip Flag playing two box, and of course, Kelly, Ke Kelly K. Kelly K with the Sheik. Yep, and we are on Dreamland. So we're looking at already, uh, Sheik looking for a quick tech chase opportunity. Gets out of the opportunity with Fox Quick Shine. Wow. Getting some good conversions, picking up some quick damage off of his up throws. I really like the way Flip Flag is playing. It looks like he has his combos down against Sheik. Nice wave shine up smash, even to up throw up airs. Okay, it looks like Kelly K was looking for an opportunity to get him off stage for an early, uh... Well, edge guard. Yeah. But one thing I'm noticing about, uh... Actually, Ooh. one thing that I actually talked to Flip Flack at, about at, uh, Five Guys earlier yes. this week. Uh -huh. Uh, he was talking about just loving playing on NTSC. I think he's the only Fox main from Norway. Yeah. And he was mentioning, you know, NTSC is just like his birthday. His Fox is so much better on uh, NTSC. It's true. His up smash actually KOs earlier. Um, his recovery, his recovery is ridiculous. Yes. Oh, man. The up, so basically, for you guys, I don't know what we're talking about. His up B, it, it, it extends just a bit farther. It extends. And of course, you know, just talking about PAL versus NTSC, you know, PAL is a lot more prominent in Europe. Uh, NTSC is unfortunately the main version that's used. Uh, because most events are here in the States. Yep. See some nice double shine action. It's going to take ledge, force Sheik to recover. Yep, gets him off stage again. That's a smart thing to do against Sheik because Sheik's recovery is really easy to exploit. Yes, and uh, easy to predict as well. And one thing we're seeing, uh, it's always a veteran move for Sheik not to use a tag since it's easy to track a recovery from a Sheik by following their tag when they're moving around. Exactly. I really like the movement by Flip Flack right now. He really is enjoying NTSC, NTSC Fox. Yes, sir. Nice. Dash Dance Up Smash. Caught yep. Kelly K. Spot dodging. And yep. Yeah. Baited it out and punished appropriately. Beautiful you know? stuff. That's the great thing about moving in this game. You make your you make your opponent flinch, and then you punish him for it. Nice Ooh. movement by Flick Flack. Yeah. Flick Flack is just... He's faking like he's going towards the edge of the stage, but everyone knows that most people prefer to, and they kind of feel rushed to go to center stage, as you see there again with a roll towards center stage from a Kelly K. Everyone wants center stage position, and he's just he's just capitalizing on him making it there. An uh, unfortunate mistake from Kelly K there, not retaking the ledge and not taking advantage of regaining uh, ledge invincibility. But what wow, moving from look at Flick Flack? Flick Flack! He's covering so many options and just being tackled at the same time. This guy, is this what Europe has been hiding for a while? Wow, Flick Flack might just be one of those guys that, you know, when they're on stream, they start putting on a show. Look at him! Look at him! He's like, yeah, everyone's oh, watching. So. <laughs> and then he kind of kind of went a bit too far. But. Yep, self-destruct. And you can definitely tell, you know, he has had a quick uh, missed edge guard from both players, but Kelly K's uh, tech skill recently has been kind of fading off. Although he's got a, a tech chase opportunity, but he's probably feeling the nerves right now. You know, he's down, he's on Team Spooky, of course, seeing yep. a lot of red skulls cheering against him, probably. <laughs> I like what Kelly K needs to do is just definitely try to hold more control of center stage, see if he can possibly get a forward tilt or a grab even on Flick Flack. I wouldn't mind if he actually hangs near the edge, uh, you know, kind of like what Mutant King would do. Yeah, I mean, he's he's definitely playing from behind here, and this game is basically over at this point. Ooh, Flick Flack misses that. Whiff, yeah. Allowing Kelly K to have another chance, and boom, that up and smash. Yeah, game yeah. one's around. Sends him home. But, I mean, we didn't really see too much of a good neutral game from Kelly K there. Not at all. Not many grabs, not many conversions off of them. A bit late on the draw with a few opportunities. Yeah. Uh, he would go for a tech chase, and by the time Flick Flack was teching, in, in, mid -tech, uh, uh, in the middle of his tech, he would throw out an up tilt, which basically was looking for the tech in place. By that point, he's already halfway across the stage and gone. So he definitely has to either go for the reads immediately, or just wait and punish accordingly with those toke chases, as yeah. we like to call them. As we go to a smaller oh. stage, I guess he's looking for less room for Fox to run. But he, yeah, Flick this Flack is, is just, he's just capitalizing on everything that... Every time that Kelly K is flinching the neutral game, all these spot dodges, these rolls that are uncalled for. All right, so I was going to say one thing. Uh, as far as Kelly K is concerned, he needs to be a little more safe when it comes to approaching Fox at low percent because Fox could just crotch cancel. Like you see there. And punish accordingly. Yep. He, he needs to space his aerials a bit more. Okay, good stuff right there with a the four tilt, non sweet spotted dash attack. But also, I like the uh, choice of the needles there on the edge guard. Yes. He was looking for something a bit higher. I think it's uh, KO'd by the up smash. But you know, he was looking for something a bit higher, covering that option. 
was just because he unfortunately read at the wrong time. Oh, See, cool. we're seeing these double spot dodges so many and things spot. like that. Yeah. You know, and the, mostly the doubles that we're seeing from Foot Flack are double shines, covering yeah. those options. So. Okay, he gets a crouch cancel. And ah. he should have just taken ledge. That's one thing that I don't want to call a rookie mistake, but it's something that a lot of uh, newer players and even a lot of veterans still forget to do. Taking ledge is underrated. It really is. Especially re grabbing ledge and recovering uh, your invincibility as we get a forward air to finish off the stock. It allows you to intercept moves that are usually hard to intercept when you don't have invincibility from the edge. Good up smash, though, and man, my Just goodness. A pair of solid reads. Yep, down a stock already. Flick Flag hanging on on the platforms, tries to get right into center stage. Good stuff with those double shines. Yep, you know, he was probably in a uh, good area to be shield grab, but using those uh, quick double shines, just get out of uh, get out of dodge there. And here we go again, Flick, uh, flick Flag. Oh, nice! You know, just... Flick Flack is just dominating the neutral game here. <gasps> there was an opportunity right there when he whiffed that up smash. That would have been an opportunity to grab him, toss him off stage, intercept the recovery, but, but it didn't happen. He's just slow on the draw. Yeah. All right. Looks like Flick Flack's trying to play safe. Almost lost that stock right there. You need to calm down a little bit, Flick Flack. Some foxes, man, they get, they're a little too technical, and sometimes it may lead to their downfall. As we're seeing Flick Flack throwing out a moonwalk. Yeah, he's he, the guy's technical. <laughs> and Kelly K might be down to his last stock on uh, this side of the pool, so... But a couple of solid sequences. Oh, wow! However, we're seeing uh, some Fox on Ice here. That so. was really nice. I didn't even know you could uh, cancel it right there on the edge. Ah, uh, if he... Let's see what happens here. Nice, so again. consistent with those and edge cancels. I really do like him shining there because it gives him a moment to fuck himself. He can turn around. It basically just pulls some changes of uh, angle of approach and things of that nature, so... It's a solid thing to do. Nice back airs. It's really hard for Sheik to intercept those. You have to respect those. And he gets an opportunity off stage, but... Ooh! Nice. Oh. Couch cancels the uh, chain. Yep. Off stage. Go out there and get him. Go get him. Ah, uh, and he lets him come back. Okay, another... Uh, just a little... I would have gone for a falling nair there. Yeah. Or even just run off, um, double jump back towards the stage and nair as you're rising. Right. You know, what Music King would usually do, basically. Right. Old school. All right, Albert. Uh, that's the set. Yeah. So congratulations to Flick Flack from Congrats. Norway. Going to continue on in this bracket here. Apex 2014. Yeah. We're Somerset, alive. New Jersey. That's right. 200.